What's up, everybody? Miss Montana back again. Um, I just came back from church. Um, I just got baptized again. Yeah, on my own free will, not because my mama made me. But um, it was a very uh, wonderful milestone in my life. See, my hair is like totally still wet. Like, I literally just walked in the door soaking wet, threw my dress over there on the floor. And yeah, I totally did that because. You know, that's what, that's what us girls do. Like, you know, all the cool girls, that's what we do. We get baptized and stuff like that and do all the right things. Um, it was definitely needed because, like, like the Lord knows that I was so on the wrong path in my life. It hadn't got too bad, but, yeah, it's time to come on back to uh, doing the right thing. <sighs> new start, new start, new chapter, new book, new life. It's, it's very, very uh, empowering. It's a very empowering feeling. Um, but I wanted to make this video because before I left for church, right before I left for church, I made the uh, video, um, Clean Your Circle of Friends. And some people had questions and they were inboxing me, how do you cut people off in your life that are useless and not good for you? Um, and you can go about it one or two ways. You can... You can you know, you can avoid their phone calls or, you know, lie to them and be like, yeah, I'm busy. I can't go tonight or whatever. Like, you know, you could do that or you could just be like, um, whatever path you're on. I'm following Jesus right now. I can't deal with you no more. You want to, you want to get on this, this walk with me or no? Okay. All right, cool. Or you could just be like, um, I'm trying to do right. I'm, I'm, I don't want to rob banks no more or, you know, whatever. Just be straight about it. I don't want to be in the gang anymore or. I don't want to prostitute anymore. Whatever it is you were doing. I don't want to molest kids. Whatever. Whatever it is you were doing before, straight up just tell them, look, I don't want to do it anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm on a new path. Are you going to get down with me or are you just going to be gone? You can either tell them straight up or you can just lie your way until they leave you alone. Like, however you want to do it. Do it. I really don't think they're lying, but if this is something new for you to do, you might have to just ease your way into you know just being blunt with it like I'm not doing it anymore some people just can't take that they don't want to hear it you could be like I'm doing the right thing now they might laugh in your face or whatever it is however you feel like you need to handle certain people because you don't have to you don't have to handle everybody different some people you could be straight up like look I'm not doing that no more like I'm, I'm cool on you some people they ain't gonna take it that easy you know you might have to lie and you know fib I don't want to say lie I want to say fib a little bit like I'm a little busy tonight. I can't go over there and do that. Um, you know, I got to babysit, you know, my mama, them kids, and um, the lady around the corner, house on fire, I got to go help her. Whatever you got to do to cut people off slowly but surely, just stop answering the phone so much. Just stop start being busy all the time. Start being with some new friends all the time. Just always have an excuse of why you can't go, why you can't spend time, why you can't be there. For these events that you're trying to leave, you have to make excuses. You know how to deal with different people in your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, it may be your mama that you need to cut off. And, you know, that's your mama, so you kind of feel kind of bad. Like, you know, my mom always be making me go to the grocery store with her and stuff steaks in my pants. Like, I don't want to do that no more. And she, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to be like, Mom, I can't go to the grocery store and stuff steaks in my pants no more for you. I can't do it. Or you might have to just be like, Mom, I can't right now. I'm, um... Me and Ray Ray got to go fix the car around the corner. Like, he just got to flat us. You know, whatever. You know, you, you handle people different. You know how you need to handle who's in your life. You know what they can take and what they can't take. So, I mean, that's the best advice I can give you as far as how to clean people out your circle. Hand, you know how to handle people. You know who will punch you in the face if you be like, no, nah, I can't do that no more. Dog, I'm on something new. Oh, really? Oh, you ain't finna do it? You know you can't handle them like that. You know you just can't be straight up and be like, no, I can't do it. You know you got to be like, man, I can't, um, my mama car broke down, or my car broke down, and I can't make it. You know, start making excuses, whatever you got to do to get out of it and get away from it. Do the best you can. And women that are in abusive relationships, men that are in abusive relationships, if you got to pack up and run in the middle of the night like Harriet Tubman, run! Run, do what you got to do, pack up the kids, honey. Get going, just go, just do what you got to do. Don't make excuses for it, just make it happen. Don't make excuses make it happen this is your life we're talking about here you were born alone you will die alone so can't nobody else live your life but you can't nobody make you happy but you you got to decide to be happy and that's going to take you just 
saying I'm going to be happy. And then on, on top of saying and deciding that you're about to be happy, do what it takes to make yourself happy. All right, I'm done. I have to take a shower because I'm still wet. I have my wet clothes. And yeah, I need to get in the shower. Yeah, okay. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. I may do one more video tonight. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I have a review to do for some hair products. For all my natural sisters out there, you know, I'm not one anymore, but I was one at one point. I know how important it is to find really good products for your hair. So that may be my next video tonight. But I will see you all later. Mr. Montana De Leon, signing out, love. <laughs>